guys welcome back to my channel i know i have talked a lot lately about the fact that it has been so incredibly dreary in nashville like dreary gross we've had two sunny days that were just more of like a tease honestly in the past in over two weeks i have like a little bit of a cold so i'm just feeling like gross so i thought you know what let's fake the sunshine I really have been in the mood to be more summery in my makeup looks. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a summer makeup look. And I do quotation marks because honestly, I have never been of the mind that you need to wait till summer to do summer looks and winter to do winter looks and fall. Like you do what you want all year round. It makes absolutely no difference. But typically I do the more glowy, bronzy, like super bronze looks in the summer and I just feel like doing that to get out of this funk so that's what we're going to do today. I have a few new products that I'm going to be either trying out for the first time or talking about for the first time so let's go ahead and get into it. Pulled my hair back ready to go. This is not going to be an elaborate look. Um, it's actually going to be quite simple. I'm really just focusing on the bronze aspect of it. So I'm not going to even guarantee that my face is going to match my arms <laughs> by the time this is over. I just really want my face to be tan. I'm just looking at my window and I'm just like, I'm so ready for this to be over. Let's start with a brand new product that I have not even tried yet. This is from Dr. Hauschka and it is the Translucent Bronzing Tint. From what I understand, this is very similar to the um, Drunk Elephant Debronzy because it says to mix with any moisturizer for a healthy sun-kissed sun glow. So what I'm gonna do is mix it with a primer. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and mix it with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. <laughs> it's a mouthful. So that is the tint of the bronze right there. It looks a little scary at first, but I, I did swatch it on my hand and it seems to work out. I'm just gonna apply that with a brush. Or your hands, it doesn't really matter. Now, I could have put this directly onto my face, but I think mixing it with a primer helps cut it down just a little bit. It's for the intent that it was made for to mix with, you know, like a moisturizing product. And I might just go in on my neck and just put the bronzer so that we can see kind of what it looks like. But even that gave like a nice, healthy, darker glow to my skin. So I'm just gonna take the bronzing tint on the brush and put it down my neck. I got my first bathing suit in the mail yesterday. So I just feel like summer vibes. Um, it's a really cute one too. I don't know if I'll be able to find it and wink it. If I can, I will, but it's a, it's a long sleeve bathing suit because we're going to Costa Rica in May. And I know that I'm not gonna have enough time to like get an actual base color on my skin because I don't do tanning beds. And I don't want to burn, so I got, it's a long sleeve kind of surfer bathing suit, zips up the front. It's really cute. Um, I got it from, I think it's called like Bikini She or Bikini something. I don't know. I, I don't know where they were shipping from because it took quite a while to get it, but I will try to link it. So that's a, that's a really, that's really pretty. For my neck a lot of times gets very like patchy, which it is getting some over here, but we're just going to ignore that. I am going to color correct a little bit and today I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the number two medium. Cover up that darkness. And I've got, of course, I feel like it's like a daily occurrence now that I've been using that Skin Medica Retinol that I've got just a little bit of peeling going on. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation. I... I think I did a whole review on this like years ago of the older formula. This is the newer formula. I've tried samples of this and I really liked it. So I decided to get the full size. This is the color 143, which is a little bit dark for me right now, but it works. That's the color right there. So 143. And I'm going to use the BK Beauty 106 brush. So like the smaller foundation brush. To kind of buff that in. I've been liking this brush lately and I've really been liking the bronzer brush that I'm going to be using. I'm going to get my ears since this <laughs> this is darker. This foundation is really good y'all. It's very lightweight. 
um, on the skin, like you can't feel it at all. But I do feel like it gives a pretty good coverage, as hopefully you'll see while I'm applying it. I mean, it's not a full coverage foundation, don't get me wrong. But it does blend in really nice, and it's very pretty on the skin. And it gives that, just that luminous glow that I'm really going for, if you can't tell by how many times I've said glow so far in this video. So I'm happy with that color. I feel like I can obviously make it work right now, but it's definitely gonna work with for me in the summer. Let's go into concealer. I'm just gonna use my Chanel Le Corrector de Chanel in 30 Beige. I wanted something that was just a little bit darker than some of my other concealers because I didn't want it to be such a stark contrast since I knew my face was gonna be a little bit darker. That's what we're going for. This is the BK Beauty sponge, which I've also really been liking. This she launched with um, her Precision set. It just launched this month. So I've been using this sponge ever since I got it and I actually really like it. Okay, now let's go in with a few cream products. These next two products are from a brand that just launched last week, but they sent me their products probably about a month ago and to try out. And it, I believe you, it's, Sia, it's S-I-I-A, cosmetics, and these are two of their uh, multi-sticks. This is the illuminating multi-stick, and this is the sculpting contour stick. I have been absolutely loving this contour stick. Now, I will swatch it for you. It is not technically a contour color. It is definitely more of a bronze color, but I don't contour my face. I just bronze it, so this works perfectly. And it's super, super creamy. Now, obviously you could paint this on the face and then blend out. I find it's much easier to go in with a brush directly on to the product. So I'm taking this little mini It Cosmetics brush, picking the product up. I just washed my brushes, so this is the color of the product. And then just blending that. Like I personally like a really strong forehead bronzer. Like I probably bronze my forehead too much, but it's just a personal preference. Like I really like my forehead to be bronzed. I know a lot of people are like, just do the perimeter of your face. I'm like, no, come down like 75% of the way and then we'll be good. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. It's just, I've always liked that. So I do come down a little bit farther on my forehead and then I'm just going to be sure and connect it right here. I cannot tell you how important that is. I know I harp on that a lot, but it, I'll show you on the neck, on the other side, like how silly that would look. And because of these lights, sometimes it's hard for me to see. So if I go too far, I'll just kind of fix it up a little bit with my foundation brush. So if I were to take this on this side and just place it right here and then be done with it, I personally think that that blank space right there looks very obvious and silly. So I always make sure to connect. And because my neck already has a ton of product on it and it's already looking a little patchy because that's what my neck tends to do, I'm going to not put any on my jawline. I don't really feel like I need it anyways, but these products do have like a little sponge on the other side. Not, I've not used that. I don't plan on it. This one is the Illuminating Multi Stick. So let me watch that. You can see that it's very, very pretty. It's very subtle. I just use it on my finger and kind of tap where you would put a highlight. I mean, you can see it come through, but it's no, it just, it's no glitter. It's no chunks of anything. It's just really pretty and it blends in really nice with the finger. They sent me their two foundation formulas as well. They have a stick and a liquid and I love both of them but unfortunately they are chock full of fragrance. So I'm not gonna use them all the time, but if you want to see kind of a review of everything I have from the line so far, let me know and I'll, I'll do a video. And then I'm gonna go into the Cure Weiss Blush, 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 Cream Blush in the color Sun Touched. So when I want something that looks more summery and more I've been out in the sun, I use a warmer color blush like this. If I want something that looks like I've been out in the winter cold snow and I'm super flushed, then I will use like a more pink color. So this is definitely more of a peachy coral color and I'm taking it on my Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia BOM 185 brush, which I've talked about being my favorite for cream blush. So I'm picking that up and then I'm gonna tap it out on my 
hand because it is pretty pigmented. And then I'm just gonna tap it on my cheek. And it just gives the prettiest, like it adds luminosity too. And the kids across the street just came out and realized it was snowing. They're on their way to school. Snowing! <laughs> Knowing our county, they will get out early. I mean, if anybody is from the north and comes down to Tennessee, y'all would laugh your tails off at us because the milk and the bread and the eggs are like sold out. If there's any call for snow, everybody never leaves their house because we don't know how to drive. We have no idea how to drive. We're not accustomed to it. We, ha we have like one salt truck for the entire county. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. So when there's even like an inkling, I mean, we've had schools our schools closed before even when it was just supposed to snow and then nothing happened and the kids just got a free day off school it's it's pretty cool pretty comical okay so that's all of my cream products i actually really like the effect of all of these together i am going to be super simple and take the same bronzer stick on like a little bit of a dense eyeshadow brush and i'm going to run this through my crease as a cream eyeshadow per se. You can use any brush you want. I just find that these more stiff synthetic brushes, this is a Morphe one that's not available anymore. It's the G13. But, you know, anything like Real Techniques has really good eyeshadow brushes for this purpose or cream shadows in general. And I'm just going to kind of run it in my crease where I would normally put a crease color because that's what it is. It just happens to be cream. And then I'll take my fingers with that same illuminating stick and tap that on the lid. Again, nothing new, but this is very often what I do in the summer for a quick look with minimal product. Like this is the kind of stuff I'll travel with because I know I don't have to take any separate eyeshadows. I'll just stick, you know, whatever I'm using on my face on my eyes. Now I am going to set my face very slightly. Like I don't want to get rid of a ton of this glow, but I'm going to set in the like T-zone area. I'm gonna use a pressed powder. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. And I have been using, I think I probably talked about this. No, I'm going to talk about this in my favorites video. So spoiler alert, I have been using the Tati Blendiful to set my under eyes. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it for other parts of the face and other, you know, products, I guess I should say. But I have really been enjoying it to set my under eyes. So I'm just making sure there's no creases. I've used this with pressed powders, my hourglass powder that I love. It works great with both. So just going to set the under eye. Now this is a product that I have not tried before, so this could be a disaster, but this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydro Powder. I've had the older version of the hydro powder in the past. This is tinted and the place that I got it from, because I have a pro discount at this place, so I wanted to make sure I got it for the discounted price was out of the shade that I thought I would be in. And then I looked on the Beauty Professor blog because typically we're about the same shade in foundations and powders and whatnot. And she uses the color 300 Medium Fair. When I got this, I was like, Ew. wow. I mean, that is yellow and dark. So I have no idea how this is going to work. I did swatch it on my hands and it didn't really have a ton of coverage to it you know, on a brush, it, it seems okay. So we're gonna try it, but I really just want to keep it just in the center of my face, just around my pores, a little bit in the middle of my forehead. And then I'll put some like right here and right here, just for when I talk on the phone, but I'm not touching any of the cheek products with powder. And I don't think that was too bad. Like, I don't think it, it's too dark. And then really, I don't, I'm not going to go in with any extra blush or highlight, I don't think, but I am going to put a little bit more of bronzer on. This is the Luminous Light from Hourglass and the BK Beauty 105 brush, which I've been loving with bronzer lately. And I just basically stamp it on the bronze a little bit. I do need to take a little bit more of that cream bronzer underneath my eye because there is rarely a day I don't want some kind of shadow under there. This is just such a pretty color. I really do like this product. I'm going to curl my lashes. I am going to tight line because I do that like year round. This is the Pixie Silky Noir. It needs to be sharpened like really bad. Let me sharpen it. 
I hate it when it like tugs at your lashes. There we go. Silky eye pen in Black Noir. And then because this is like a summer look and in the summer I really just can't be bothered most of the time with like lash primers every single day. I'm just going to use straight up mascara without priming my lashes. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Another thing is when I do like really natural looks like this, which even though I just put like a ton of makeup on my face, you know, it looks a little bit more natural. I think going in with huge lashes can look a little heavy. So I like to just keep them as natural as possible. And you know, I have longer lashes, so I get it on my lid a lot. So I'll have to go back in, kind of buff that out. Okay, finally for lips, I wanna do something super simple, super quick, super glossy. So I'm gonna use this new gloss that was sent to me by Octoly and Bobbi Brown and it is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. And this is in the color Free Spirit. This gloss is really cool. Like, it does have an oilier texture to it, but look at how shiny. Can you see how shiny that is? I'll swatch this on my hand so you can see the color straight out of the tube that way, but look at how pretty that is. It's kind of like a corally nude. See, it's right there in the middle. Really comfortable, like really comfortable. And this is just the kind of lip product I just like to throw on in the summer. Gives it just a sheer wash of color, but really hydrating. That is the finished look. This is a summery vibe look in the dead of winter when it's snowing outside. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I will be sure to link everything that I used down in the description box below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope y'all all go out and have a very blessed day.